It's a place and a name and a story that's become part of our nation's modern dream time. It's a corner piece of the jigsaw puzzle which makes up what it means to be an Australian. It's the story of the men who saved our freedom, a story we must hand down to our children and their children. It was the last stand, there was nobody else. We, you couldn't look back and find a, a, a mob behind you. Yeah. We were fighting for ourselves, we were fighting for Australia. They would do whatever was required of them. And that meant, of course, in many cases, dying. The Kokoda campaign was probably the greatest of our achievements because it saved Australia. Uh, I have no memories of other than nasty things happening. Fighting in New Guinea was your fighting for your country and your family. I lost one of my boys in an ambush. I remember him well, he was a big, well-built, lovely chap, Tango is his nickname. Uh, we lost him in an ambush. We, we went back the next day with the fighting patrol to get his body out. And every bit of edible meat had been cut off his body. Those things used to wake me at night for years. I went back to New Guinea and visited the graves of my troops who we'd lost. And after I came home, I never had another one of those dreams. Shells bursting in the trees. This one's been cut across the bloody head. This one's got another one in the back, you know. People being blown to bits carcasses lying around the countryside, not bloody full bodies, blown to bits. Of the mountain guns were shelling it, the mortars were landing mortar bombs amongst it. It was on for young and old. The Titanic Battle of Ishirava exploded into action on the 26th of August with the Japanese unleashing rolling human wave attacks of 100 and 200 men at a time charging up these hills. They tell us now that the Japanese weren't interested in Australia, but I think that's all bull. We disliked them intensely at that stage, and uh, there were times when they did some dreadful things to some of our troops. As long as you had a mate alongside you, nothing mattered, you know. You didn't give anything else a thought about getting shot or anything, just as long as you had a mate there. I think from now on, we shouldn't be trying to get the older people to remember. 
we should be educating the kids to know how lucky they are to be in this country. We were fighting for ourselves, we were fighting for Australia.